best anime for winter 2023 is definitely gonna be this anime. Why you ask? Because it has the Yuri, the uh, Isekai. And even more Yuri. It has everything I could ever wanted in an Isekai and a Yuri anime. There's no reading between the line bullshit because NS is based as fuck. The anime is called Tensei Ojoto, Tensei Reijo no Maho Kakume, or in English, The Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated. Damn it, that's too long. It's Magi Rev over short, and the title is on the screen. Since this anime has already ended, I wanted to do a YouTube review about it. In all seriousness, let's talk about the main characters. We have the first main character, Anispia Win Paletia, an eccentric princess and a reincarnate from another world. She has a great passion for magic despite being unable to wield one, but that didn't stop her passion for magic. Ever since she was young, she had dreamt of flying through the skies, and by using her knowledge from another world, she introduces innovations from the 21st century with the power of magic. She invented magical tools like a magic sword, a magic teapot, and a magical broom that could fly. On her way to test the magical broom, she crashed into a party. Not that kind of crushing into a party. She literally crashes into the party with shattered glasses and everything. This leads her to a fateful meeting with the second main character, Eupilia Magenta. She's a highly intelligent individual who takes her obligation as a noble to the extreme, for she was raised her whole life to be worthy of being the next queen. However, she loses her purpose when Prince Algard breaks his engagement with her, losing her chance of being a queen. Right then, Annie swoops right in, analyzes the situation, takes UP away like a queen. Majire Boy is a story about how two girls go against tradition and how it hinders the growth of the new era. It's where the nobles are stuck up in the past, following only how their ancestors used to do things. They never learn to think for themselves, innovate, or improve. They fear the unknown and how it will go against their belief or that their religion might have been wrong if what Anais had researched was true. My final thoughts for this anime. The animation has a bright and colorful scenes with a gloomy effect on top that will make you think, huh, this is an over budget anime. And also, did you know that Magi Rebo is the only Yuri anime released on winter 2023? Look right here. When I start watching Magi Rebo, I can't stop but see similarities to Licorice Rico, and I couldn't blame them for that. We have the Genki and extroverted girl who seems carefree but has some emotional baggages. Then, there's a genius quiet girl sidekick who is always with the main girl. Didn't see it? Even their character designs are similar in a sense. Well, it's not just Ligurus Rico, but other Yuri manga titles also follow the same dynamic. These are some of the mangas that follow the same premises, such as Yuri is my job, can't defy the lonely girl, and much much more. Therefore, Majirebo is Ligurus Rico, but better, Isekai, and also not a Yuri bait. Hello, post editing, Yijun Des. I just saw the last episode and they finally did the thing! Thanks for watching this video, and if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more future videos like this. What are your thoughts on this video? Comment it below.